Flow Seekers after Jesus. This is Romuald Simeon, Rami to my friends, and the book is the Bible, Love Letters from Your Father, the Gospel of John, and this is Alexa Divina, which is 30 years of Jesus speaking to me and me speaking in uh, dialogue with him and what he shows me in the Word. And uh, we're, they're asking now that how would you use my videos and my book in case you ever get my book. The, uh, and here's your instant guide. Uh, the first step is, of course, pray to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit gives us insight and strength to do what we don't want to do or don't know what to do. Remember the apostles heard Jesus' teaching for three years and yet until they received the Holy Spirit at Pentecost they didn't have the insight and the courage to witness to him. So the point of the book is not only to learn about Jesus in the scriptures. You can always do that very simply. You don't need Lectio Divina. All you do is take up the New Testament and read it and meditate on it and absorb it. But the way the saints did it and the way that Jesus wants us to do it is to create a relationship with him. How do we do that? Well, you have to connect yourself to the object of the people that you're working with, you're, you're listening to. So, for instance, if you go to a football game, you want to know about the players. You want to know about the game. You want to know what's a, a good move or a bad move. It's similar. It's like a drama. And you perform a drama with Jesus, a connection a connect talk connection with him, a relationship. How do you do that? Well, do it the way you do it with your own family. Do it the way you do it with your friends. The, that's the goal. So you say, well, I want to listen to him. I want to hear him. I want to see him. I want to feel with him, well the way you can do that, and that's what Jesus wants you to do, is you have to, since it's a spiritual and a most unusual thing, to connect with God, that's what you're doing. You're connecting just not to a human being, but you're connecting to the Son of God. And so, follow what he says in his, in his own word. Not just read his word and not understand it. That's what this book is supposed to tell, be telling you. It tells you how to understand, how to connect. And this is it. Jesus says, people that think that they see very clearly are blind. It's true. How, do, how is it true? Because you see with your eyes. You don't look at Jesus with your eyes. You have to see him with your heart. You see him as the son of God. That whatever he is telling you is always true. It's always verified. And what he's telling you is always connected to yourself. You have to put yourself into the ambience to the people around him. The people who are really listening to him. So here with his ears. You hear, but you don't listen. You must listen. Listen means you not only hear it, but you act on it. See with his eyes. What is the eyes of Jesus? Eyes that don't see what humans see. Eyes of faith. He sees that he knows he can work a miracle in your life. He knows who you are without you even connecting to him because he's connected to everybody in the world, everything that he's ever created, every person. He's in your mind. He's in your spirit. 
He's in your conscience. He knows all about you. You can tell other people nice stories about yourself, but you always have another story inside that worries you, that you're not as good as you think you are. You're not as wonderful. You're not as holy. And that's why you need Jesus. When you realize who you are, you become very humble. We don't deserve him. We can't figure out the glorious things that he's doing for us, that he's actually going to make us children of God. He's going to adopt us. We have no right to go to heaven, to have eternal life. We have no immortality in ourselves. We're all going to end up in the grave. But he's telling us, no, your soul is going to live forever through me. I gave got this favor for you by giving you pre-birth. You're not just the human being you're looking at. You know, that <laughs> that ugly person. <laughs> the person who thinks they're so sharp. <laughs> Super smart person. No. You're just a nobody when it comes to God. But you're somebody because he makes you somebody. By yourself, you're really nobody. They're going to forget you in a few years after you die anyway. So you have to, and you have to act with his attitudes. You have to absorb his attitudes. Now you don't know all of these things, how to do with his eyes, how to see in faith. You don't know how to hear with, listen with his acuity. And you don't know how to hear with your heart unless you connect to Jesus. And that's what we're talking about. So the way to use the videos and book is to pray, to connect to Jesus Christ. Now you say, well, we're going to learn about Jesus in order to get to know him. Well, that's true. And it's not, in a way, it's not true. When you read, do you know everything that you read? You don't know it. You have to connect to a person. If you, you get a letter from a person that you love very much, or say from your mother, and say, oh, if you read it to someone, they say, oh, that is wonderful mother you have. No. You know deeper in the words that they're saying that those words have deep meaning, deep memory deep actions, deep love. So, just to read the Bible isn't enough. You have to connect to Jesus like a family. And how do you connect as a family? Three things. Fama. The word family. Fama. Reputation. Respect. Respect. He respects you. Even if you're a sinner, he respects you because you're a prodigal person coming back to him. He's reaching out for you. He's searching for the lost lamb. So have respect, not only for him, but for yourself. You're not worthy to come to Jesus. On the, on the other hand, he's the one who's seeking you. So you have worth in his eyes. Mommies, you're hungry. You need to be pastured. You have to learn to eat spiritual food, the Word of God. It says in the scripture that the Word of God comes into your mouth. At first it's bitter, because you don't want to hear the Word of God. You want to hear correction. You don't want to hear growth. You want to best just listen to the way of the world and have pleasure. You don't want to have commitment. So, Fami's, be hungry for God. Seek Him. You haven't found true love in anyone else but Jesus. You haven't found true peace. I give you peace, not as the world gives it, do I give it to you. I give you love where I die for you on the cross. 
Who's going to do that for you? Some claim it when it comes down to it. If you don't agree with them, they get rid of you. So learn about Jesus. So you have to build up a relationship. And the third thing, fama, famis, famolis. Famolis. This means to serve him. To serve. He serves you. He takes care of you. He has concern for you. You have to serve him. And what's the serving that he wants from you? He wants you to pass on what you know of him. Pass on. When you like a sports person, you say, oh, what a wonderful guy he is. What a hero. Oh, the greatest that ever was. Why do you find it hard to talk about Jesus that way? If you really know him, you're forming a relationship. And you have to be in conformity with him. His attitude, he says, I am your master. I am your teacher. And I not only do that, but I act it out. Observe how I do it. How I connect my words and my actions. Want to know how to act? That's don't go by my words. Words are, can be empty. See how I act on it. When I say I love you, when I say, Jesus says that, I say I love you. I will have mercy on you. And he acts on it. He dies on the cross for sinners. He takes your sins upon himself. How close must you follow the Lord? He says it clearly. Espousal. We are married to Jesus. He is our spouse. He's the one who brings us, carries over the threshold of heaven into the Father's house. If we are spouses of the Lord, we have to put him first. When you spouse someone, you put them first. First and eternally. You never give up, never give in. You restore your relationship if it's confused. And that's what these, this book and these letters and these videos are talking about. How to continue. How to grow with him. How to show in fact that your love is not an empty word. So you witness his presence in your life and you are, are joyful. You practice it and you witness it to others and you write a letter to Jesus. You say a journal. Make it in a letter. Dear Jesus, because these are letters to you. Write a letter back to him. Tell him that you love him. Tell him how much you love him, how much you need him. What a difference he makes in your life. And tell him how you passed them on to others. Yeah, put their names in. They're his children too. That's how we do it. It's very simple. When you practice it, it seems hard at first, but when you practice it, it's very easy. I started with the Gospel of John. <laughs> it was about this thick, thin. And when the Lord showed me over a period of 30 years, I can't stop writing. Now it's 943 pages. And that is the explanations that he gave me. That's a, a sample of the witness that he has given me and the witness that I give him. I have to say this too. I didn't write this book. He did. I just put the words down. And after I put the words down, I can't even remember all the words. I say, I read it, say it, and I say, I, I can't remember how true it is. How I got these words 
put the words together. And that's what you'll do too. You'll write those letters. You'll write that journal day by day, then compare it with your previous life. And you say, how did I come to this? I'm a changed person. Yes, you are reborn in the blood of Jesus. God bless you. Pray for me, and I pray for you. But the main thing is, Jesus prays for us and brings us to the Father. God bless.